Hi, I'm Roxanne Greenwich, HigherLyrics.org. It is uh, Saturday, November 6th. We're down here at Liberty Place, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. 2012 Galvanized Voter Clout, Official Corruption, Fraud, Civil Rights, Victim Americans, We the People, Individual Accountability Statement, A New Civil Rights Movement, Families Fight Back, Say No More, DHS Demonic Harm Stories. Roxanne Greenwich explains administrative solution, Galvanized Voter Clout, American Corruption Victims, Saturday, November 6th, from Liberty Place, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Those community-conscious, working-class, and impoverished American Pennsylvanians who have gathered bulk or individual evidence in our various professional or personal capacities may stand with us and record for history and the hope of future generations the David and Goliath turn of the tide strategy which utilizes 2010 election results to galvanize 2012 voter clout of the official corruption, fraud, civil rights victimized, working class, student, and impoverished American family. Strongest prayers for the rescue of state agencies, DHS, with state court corruption destroyed children, elderly and disabled of all ages, our commonwealth and U.S. economy, and the soul of our nation. Respectfully, Roxanne Greenwich, HigherLyrics.org. Today, Saturday, November 6, 2012, in Liberty Place Center City, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 10 a.m., Philadelphians who have suffered felony crimes inflicted by state agency DHS Commissioner Anne Marie Ambrose with Philadelphia Adoption Courts Roberta Trembetta Esquire with Philadelphia Family Court Administrative Judge Kevin M. Dougherty, also known as Kevin M. Dougherty, flagrant conflict of interest relationships with financial institutions, opulent union league, multi-million dollar billing foster adoption contractors, core financial institutions, uh, Cora Services Inc., Children's Choice, with Mayor Michael Nutters and District Attorneys R. Seth Williams' nepotism corruption, abuse of working class, police, sheriff deputies, abuse to ignore or compound incredible acts of retaliation, which include home invasion, beatings in the face with metal pipes, tyrannical arrests, unlawful imprisonment, fines and penalties, public mob aggravated assault beatings, child abductions, abuse of City of Philadelphia correction staff to inflict medical error and inevitable wrongful death upon grandmothers or parents who attempt rescue of their children from abuser beneficiaries of several federal, state, and municipal fraud schemes exposed by compiling and sorting existing Phila.gov and Pennsylvania DPW maintained databases, paren, property assessment records, Philadelphia employee directory, disbarred suspended attorneys list, child abuse registry, PACES, that's Pennsylvania Child Support Enforcement, Pennsylvania Superior Court docket sheets, U.S. District Pennsylvania Eastern Docket Monitoring, 2009 Annual Report, Philadelphia Office of Inspector General, OIG, etc. Dollar Gift House Program, Insurance Fraud, Epidemic Fraudulent Deeds, and Deed Death, etc. Have on this Saturday, November 6, 2010, at 10 a.m. met in Center City, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and marked for history and historians, the video press release aggressively distributed 2012 galvanized voter clout, official corruption, fraud, civil rights victim Americans, we the people, individual accountability statement, a new civil rights movement, families fight back, say no more to suffer incredible acts of tyranny and violent retaliation for trusting in lawful processes to protect their children from the insatiable, billable appetite of Philadelphia's DHS contract are continuing to act lawfully, seeking ethical, authorized intervention and audits to leverage individual accountability upon not the government, not the system, not them and they, but upon those individuals who are shown to be abusing their official positioning to engage in repeated felony crimes which are in violation of rules of civil procedure, federal, state, and municipal statutes, 
Pennsylvania and U.S. Constitutions, Judicial and Law Association. Personal injuries, crimes, and suspected illegal adoption, IRS, EIC, identity theft, and DHS contractor billing of Lorraine Greenidge's 6810 mob assault abducted children, Ezekiel Zankyle Brown, age 4, and Ariel Roxanne Brown, age 2, are the result of responsibly recorded, respectfully reported, deliberate denials of protection from abuse, conspiracy, destruction of lawful filings, numerous fraud crimes of city, state, private, and federal funding sources, cover-up and tag-team poly protection committed by individuals for whom federal and Pennsylvania Timothy federal prosecutors' investigations, audit, indictment, and jail time are sought for Fern Brown Kaplan Esquire, Timothy E. Pacente Esquire, Judge Robert J. Matthews, Marvin L. Williams Esquire, CPA Paces, Eric Brown, Sandra Sullivan, Diane Kearney, Linwood Kearney, Laquita Sullivan, Andrew Sullivan, Darren Sullivan, and possible Assistant District Attorney Brian Kearney if found to be the reason for nepotism, corruption, protection of these criminals in Philadelphia District Attorney's Office. The October 13, 2010 illegal adoption of two of Janice Brown's grandchildren has reported evidence, has reportable evidence of felony crimes committed by those DHS and family court position individuals who chose to violate Pennsylvania rules of civil procedure, federal, state, and municipal statutes, Pennsylvania and U.S. constitutions, judicial and bar association codes of conduct, to fast-track sale of trauma-injured children to billing health of DHS foster adoption and evaluator contractors. The fact that daily news reporters reported Judge Kevin M. Doherty's, Kevin M. Dougherty's unaccountable child abuse orders of no contact and denial of Janice Brown's lawful attorney retained motion to intervene, grandparent standing, clarifies for Pennsylvania. <coughs> clarifies for Pennsylvanians the unaccountable, out of, the, out of control, quote, I can do whatever I want because I'm a judge, unquote, attitude, echo, in Philadelphia family courts now referred to as courtroom killing floors. Every adoption, Roberta Trembetta Esquire and administrative judge Kevin M. Dougherty had a hand in with DHS Anne Marie Ambrose should be investigated, abrogated, nullified and injured, prolonged, abused, kidnapped for profit children should be returned to their family members who want them. The October 27, 2010 illegal adoption of Barbara and Kurt Clayton's grandson, Mark Anthony Clayton, marked more than two years denial of due process. Roberta Trembetta Esquire imposed Philadelphia Family Court Wolfpack style combinations of DHS social workers and ever-changing domestic relations judges imposed separation, parent alienation injuries inflicted up to and after a U.S. District Federal, a U.S. District Court Federal Judge Timothy Savage ordered DHS to honor grandparents' rights to standing only to have Philadelphia Family Court bar grandparents from courtroom after a malpractice lawyer held, held file, took retainer, and informed grandparents 7.45 a.m. morning of October 4, 2010, scheduled civil adoption proceeding that, quote, DHS took you for a joke for suing Contractor Children's Choice, Inc., and DHS in federal court pro se, unquote. Given 2009 Philadelphia Office of Inspector General report, Clayton family is due reversal stay civil proceedings pending criminal prosecution of conflict of interest City of Philadelphia employee with Children's Choice Inc. Every so-called adoption facilitated by Children's Choice Inc. should be investigated and likely overturned and injured for profit of DHS for injured for profit of DHS children should be returned to, to their family members who want them. If your family or business has been destroyed by DHS with family court, with municipality, elected official corruption, you are part of a tragically far too large <coughs> voter constituency that when organized, galvanized, will have endorsement, lobby, impeachment, voter power.